So I do pen reviews sometimes. And uh, someone with a pen website, a company here, sent me some pens to review in exchange for some promotion, I guess. So I was f filming some footage of me unboxing them, fiddling with them, trying them out and stuff. And I really started wondering uh, as I examined the quality and started noticing uh, various things about them. I got more and more curious about where these pens came from. I could tell that the plastic was cheap and light. And then the third pen was a knockoff of another pen that I had, the Twisby Eco. So I thought, let me go look at this website, see what's going on about it. And so that's really what I want to talk about here today, this website. Here's all the exposure uh, that they need, I think. And here is the Penographer website, truly a modern masterpiece of online marketing. I've got all sorts of options here. Some choice picks that they're trying to promote down here, all sorts of options. Let's see one of their choice picks. The Modern Series Sky 2, $83. It must be a good pen, right? For that much. There must be some sort of quality associated with this. They've all these, got all these great pr product pictures. Two five-star reviews by Roger Smith and Llewellyn Stanford. Rogers, in his review, he writes, Thank you, with an entirely different pen in the picture. Hmm, all the reviews have pictures, it looks like. He, but he just says the name of the pen again. And then Llewellyn says, Good apparentia. Good apparentia. Fashion metallic construction is plastic. Good plumen. Coming converter is something clip. They seem to like it. But this pen looks familiar. I think I've seen this on Amazon. Oh yeah, here it is. Pretty much the exact same pen, maybe even a newer model of it. $28 instead of $83.99. But wait, I think I might have seen this on AliExpress. Here it is. All the same great options, all the same great product photos. And if we choose red, yeah, extra fine, 1881. Now that seems like an even better deal. Just transaction history. Oh wait, look, look at this review. It looks exactly the same. It's an identical picture. How did these people manage to write thank you in the exact same way? Anyways, maybe they have really good customer service that really makes the markup worth it. Let's look at their other collections. Hmm, the fresh. Wait, wait, wait. Inkwells and cartridges. Always gotta have these. Ooh, this one has a review even. Let's see what this is. Six ink cartridges for $33.99. There must be some really good ink. One. Nella Bashirian, five stars, says, Got all all, very good, matches the description commodity, very satisfied with your purchase. Xiao Mai Tout bought a pen, only the brand is called Kako. Come with handle to this. And I speak French, this says, uh, out. And black ink, and this says, buy ink. Ink gift pen, and used to, to take goddaughter. Some great pictures here. Oh, terrific. She seems thrilled with her purchase. I don't know why we wouldn't buy this. They've even got different color options. Brown, green, lake, red. Except this one also looks familiar. Yeah, over here on AliExpress. It's only $7.41. That's a lot. Wait a second. And that's for 12 pieces. So that's 62 cents a piece. And, and, wait, so if I added, let's see. Let's buy the same amount from here. It'll be four hundred and seven ninety nine. That's what, fifty five times as much. Maybe, maybe this ink is somehow better. You just can't tell. Maybe it comes really quick. Maybe these are the size of grain silos, and the pictures are just deceiving. They're at a bad angle. Okay, now what? Now let's look at some of their other pens. They probably have some good ones here. Uh, Oh, this makes me a little bit sad. Some of them are sold out. These look like really cool pens. Someone must have bought them all, and for only twenty-two ninety-nine for one pen. 
Let's see what the review said. People seem really happy. Carly Walter, good indenture, tough metal, good quality, very content. Oh, good pictures. Hosea Gleason says, this is exactly what I wanted. Definitely can't wait to buy a couple more. Exclamation mark. Luna Deco, Alta Bartel. Oh, they both said the exact same thing. Very good item and very good seller. Also, interestingly enough, it looks like Luna and Alta both have the same table. Maybe they're really good friends and they both bought a pen at the same time. And then Luna took her picture and then Alta wanted to take a picture. So Luna moved her pen a little far back over here and Luna put her pen down. And then they took her picture and then they were like, let's go put reviews and both put five stars and both say the exact same thing. And then put the our review as the title of our review and then put the review and we'll both say the same thing. And I don't know, twinning. Hmm, Ryan Littell. And Janelle Herzog are really taking it to the next level here. They both uh, give it five out of five. And they both had the same thing to say about the pens, which is just what the pen is called, according to the penographer.com. And then they both posted the exact same picture. How hard do you think that was to, to, to replicate this? To both, you know, get the, the pens lying there in the exact same way almost. That's pretty crazy. I wonder if they corresponded at all about that or if it's just dumb luck. But if you're anything like me, you're probably a little bummed that this super cute pen was completely sold out. Obviously, it was priced to move. But if you look around on the internet a little bit, obviously you can find it in places like AliExpress for $2. Sad thing is, it's totally sold out everywhere, it seems like. So maybe they really do have some rare, fantastic, uh, precious pen on their hands. I don't know, why is it sold out everywhere? Interesting thing is, if you look at the reviews here, there's someone in, in Spain that took the exact same picture and left the exact same review. Good indenture, tough metal, good quality, very content. As Carly Walter over here. Good indenture, tough metal, good quality, very content. Really makes you wonder, huh? Let's look at a pen that's in stock. Now, it's a little bit interesting because I've seen these two pens before. These are both knockoffs of the Kawiko Sport. And when the owner of this website got in touch with me and asked me to do a review of his pens, he specifically stated that he just finished watching my pen review for Lamy and Kawiko pens, and he really likes the fact that I'm reviewing as an artist as opposed to a collector. Peter draws Lamy Kawiko. Ko so the only video I have with Lamy and Kawiko pens, this must be the one he's talking about, is one where I was ranting about knockoff pens. And I, I bought this pen right here in particular. Might have been this one. Why wouldn't he think I would notice this? This one has five good reviews. All by very convincing names here. Oh, I wish I could get my hands on this name generator. Hmm, two more people posting identical reviews and pictures. Wilfred here, having fun losing things in translation some more. He ends his review with the words, slag short. Very convincing. Over here at the Fresh series, once again, every review is five stars and every review has one or more pictures and every review has a first and last name, usually as mostly anglicized. These ones are almost $30. And I think I bought one of these on Wish for like $3, if not free, plus shipping. Here's some Twisby Eco knockoffs between $30 and $40, but you can grab these for like five bucks, of course. A real Twisby Eco is cheaper than these knockoffs. This one has 22 reviews. This time they're brave enough to filter in a couple of four-star reviews. Doesn't say why, of course. Chloe gushes about the pen, saying, Is a feather lovely and chest of drawers. Fashion and denture is very comfortable, fluid. Unique PEGA is set one time, must reactivarla, seca and right tank dress. Hmm. You know, I couldn't have put it any better myself. Norris and Taylor say and show the same thing. 
Glenda gives five stars despite showing the pen and even looking through a microscope to show where it's beginning to break. Cameron Rath also agrees that it's lovely and is very chest of drawers. Ah, it truly is. Oh, excuse me. Uh, down here on the um, looking in the modern series, some more sold out pens. That's exciting. Uh, look, a box with a bottle of ink and a pen for three hundred and fifty nine dollars. Ah, must be for executives or high rollers. But you can find it here on an even less convincing looking site for $128. And even this is probably an insane markup. Look, basically, I just want you to be careful when you're shopping around for pens. Now, if you find a pen, don't find it on just one website before you pull the trigger. Shop around a little. Even if you go back to that website and end up buying it there, make sure you're not getting scammed or overcharged, okay? Do your due diligence. Do your research, okay? Because... I'm sure there's a lot of these crappy websites out there, and I'm not going to tell you where, what website to go buy from, because that's not the point here. you got to go find these. You know, there's a lot of good, reputable websites out there with great customer service, uh, and they do tend to rise to the top, so have fun buying some pens. And there are a lot of good ones out there for, um, you know, affordable prices. Every single one of the pens that you can buy and have fun with in life are cheaper than every single one of the pens on this website. I just don't like this kind of thing happening because it feels like people are preying on my fellow artists and sometimes people get excited about art and they get excited about new art supplies, you know, so it's fun. You know, the impulse purchases happen, but don't let this kind of impulse purchase happen, okay? You know, it says you're saving $133.94. It looks like a sweet pen, right? This is probably available somewhere else for 10 bucks, okay? So don't, you know, just be wary. Art, art making doesn't have to be that expensive. You know, you can still just use a regular old Bic pen, but if you gotta use a, a fountain pen, you no, know, just don't get scammed. Anyways, that's all. I don't think I'm even gonna put ink in those, in those pens I got from them uh, because, I don't know, it's just, it's a waste of ink. It's a waste of ink. I'm not even gonna draw with them, I'm not. All right, goodbye everybody, have fun. Sorry, I hope this helped a little, I don't know. This is just, it just seems so ridiculous to me. It did, so ridiculous. It's insane. I hate to think that they've made a lot of sales too. They probably have made a crazy amount of money. <sighs> Makes me sad. All right.